So for today, we're going to be looking at what Ada One is offering. We're going to be looking at the shaders she's offering and the actual armor sets themselves. We're going to be looking at each of the classes as well. So that way you guys are aware of what armor sets you can choose from. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe but real quick. I'm not going to be showcasing shaders with the armor just because uh, I want these videos to be really quick. And surprisingly, you guys might not know this, but putting shaders on the actual armor and then having them rotate takes a lot of time, specifically rendering time. And that's why I don't do that. I mean, unless you guys want me to just show pictures, I could do that. But that's why I don't have shaders. I just wanted to explain that. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys uh, watching the content. I really do. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the first shader, Genotype Null Zero. This is from the Escalation Protocol activity from Warmind, the DLC. And yeah, this is a really good shader. I like the... Uh, the carbon fiber like texture and color as well like i think it's super dope i think the chrome orange is really really cool be aware though that the off color for this one is actually white which is really really weird um like like a really bright white too it's not just like oh it's just white it's really weird so just be aware of that other than that yeah it's super dope uh this like with this it looks really really cool uh we have echoes of io worn there is actually two echoes of io uh echoes of io worn the one you're looking at right now and then Echoes of IO, just Echoes of IO, no, no Warn or anything like that. We'll definitely check the shaders out to see the difference, but I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm not the biggest fan of this one just because like it's, it's yellow, um, not even yellow, just kind of like a pale, uh, white, pale yellow. I don't know. Not a big fan of it. And then we have War Cult Scheme. Um, this is probably one of the better future War Cult shaders just because you get a really rich purple, but then you get, uh, and it's almost like a blue purple, which is personally my favorite purple, one of my favorites, but then you get like a really good gold as well. And then white and black, which is, I think those four colors are just super dope. Uh, at that point you would just have to find a really good color combination because as you guys can see, there's, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of how it shaders on the chest piece, but that's more the chest pieces fault than anything else. But this one is definitely like for sure the war cult scheme is a pickup and the genotype null zero is also a pickup. Definitely this one though, because this one I feel like is a little bit more rare. Mm. You know what? War cult would be the rarest one here because you had to get it from factions, which don't even exist anymore. Granted, this one doesn't exist either, but like I know some people who didn't like who, who always sided with one of the factions and never went with other other factions. So that's why I say that. As for the actual armor set, I'm going to be real with you guys. I think a lot of these sets are really, really cool. I actually do actually that funny. Funnily enough, I was going to say that I have all of, I have at least one armor piece for all of the classes unlocked, but the hunter is the only one that I don't because I just don't like a lot of the pieces. Granted, the arms are pretty cool. The chest piece definitely I should have unlocked because you can use that with a lot of really cool things. Cloak is actually decent aside from it not being able to change color for the backside. Uh, the helmet is also pretty cool. And the boots are the only piece that I'm like, whatever's on for the Titans. Uh, unfortunately, anything that you see that's orange will not change color. And the boots also take shaders really, really bad. Funnily enough, though, uh, the boots are actually the piece that I have for the Titans because I have that for a Mongolian look, because for me, this set really reminds me of Mongolian armor for some reason specific. I think it's the hip armor, maybe probably. But yeah, it's just very like Mongolian themed for me, at least for me. Um, helmet's okay. The arms are okay. The chest pieces. I don't, I don't like the chest pieces at all. And the mark is also not the, I'm not the biggest fan of that one. So I think it's just the boots that are going to be really, really cool because they do take shaders really terribly, but at least they change color. Not like the other pieces where it's like that orange will always be there. And then for the warlocks, the helmet is one of the pieces that I actually own, which is super cool. I really, really like it. The chest piece is also really cool. Like, actually, I actually do like it, so I would recommend that one. It's just really big, so just make sure you're using boots that you don't mind being covered. Uh, the arms are kind of like whatever's. I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's just kind of boring. And same thing with the boots. I think they're kind of boring as well. Uh, the bond also just kind of generic, but I feel like that one would be good for like, uh, like really, really out there looks where you just want something really normal and chill so that way it doesn't like over overboard it i guess so classes let me know what you guys think which one are you guys going to be picking up again i for me personally i think the boots for the titans are super dope i've definitely used them in my mongolian set which i think i made it in this video right here if they, if you see a video that's the one i made if not then just ignore this uh for the warlock i actually use it in the set as well 
specifically for the new gauntlet exotics that they got this season i'll have it up right now and for the hunter yeah like i said i haven't used it although i should probably use the chest piece because the chest piece is really really cool and i do recommend the chest piece so let me know what you guys think i do apologize that i didn't have content for monday or tuesday but tuesday kind of is not my fault considering i was ready and then the servers were just down so this video should have been would have been up if it wasn't down and then monday i was just kind of like honestly i kind of just needed an off day because i've been posting like non-stop for like a month maybe so we're gonna be get back to it we have a lot of content to go through and i appreciate you guys other than that be safe and i'll see you guys later